Look at this question. They are saying simplify where i is equal to radical minus 1, i to the power 14 plus i to the power 15 plus i to the power 16 plus i to the power 17. We need to simplify it. Now, if you have the calculator fx991ex, you can put all of the expression on the calculator and get the final answer straightforward in one click. But if you don't have it, the previous types of calculator doesn't perform this operation. Why? Because it is limited to i to the power 3. i to the power 4 cannot be done with that calculator. So let me give you a way so that if you don't have the new calculator. Since they said i equal to radical minus 1, so that i equal to radical minus 1, which means that i squared is equal to minus 1. Now, to get i cube, i cube is equal to i times i squared, which is equal i squared minus 1, so that's minus 1, and we have i. Now, i to the power 4 is equal to i squared times i squared, which is minus 1 times minus 1, which is plus 1, which means that every i to the power 4, you can ignore it. It's equal to 1. So now, what do we do here? i to the power 14, keep counting by 4, until you reach a number which is smaller than 14. Let's say 4, comma, 8, comma, 12. So up to 12 plus 4, you get 16, which means that we can ignore i to the power 4 three times from i to the power 14. And how much left from 12 to 14? It's 2, so you can write it as i to the power 2. Plus, similarly, i to the power 15. So we can say 4, 8, 12, and then we get three more, so which means that i to the power 12 ignored because it's i to the power 4 times i to the power 4 times i to the power 4, which is equal to 1. So we left by i to the power of 3 plus, now i to the power 16, it is i to the power 4, 8, 12, and then 16. So we have them all, which means that i to the power 4 times i to the power 4 times i to the power 4 times i to the power 4, 4 times which is equal to 1, so we write 1, plus i to the power 17, i to the power 16 is equal to 1, and you left 1 for the i to the power 17, so you have i. So this becomes i squared plus i cubed plus 1 plus i, and then you can perform this by calculator. The normal one can do that for you, which is equal, or you can do that manually. i squared is equal to minus 1, plus i squared minus 1, we left by i, so we have minus 1i, this is for the i cube, plus 1, plus i, now minus i plus i cancel, minus 1 plus 1 cancel, you get final answer as 0. This is in case you don't have the fx991ex, I hope that you can buy that calculator, it's very cheap, and it performs all the complex numbers operations easily. Let's look at that question, they said what is the slope of the line parallel to the line whose equation below? What's the equation here? It's 2x plus 3y equals to 8. Let's write it. 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. And they want the slope of the line that is parallel to this. Now, we know that when the lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So what is the slope of this line? So we can take 2x to the other side. It becomes 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 8. And we can divide the whole equation by 3, so divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. You're left by y equal minus 2 over 3, x plus 8 over 3, which is 8 over 3, we leave it. Now, they're asking for the line that is parallel to this, which means that they have the same slope. So what is the slope of this line? It's minus 2 over 3, so that's the slope that they are looking for is minus 2 over 3, and that would be the answer. If they are asking for a line that is perpendicular to this, so what do we do? We write minus 2 over 3, and we flip the fraction, it becomes 3 over 2, and we change its sign, it becomes plus. So minus 2 over 3, it becomes 3 over 2, because they are perpendicular. In this question, they are asking for parallel, but just in case they are asking you for perpendicular, so you flip the fraction, and you change its sign, because it's the opposite reciprocal. 